Alien Shooting Game with Python and Pygame Zero. How it works. I want to make a game like a shooting game. It sounds great. The simple shooting game is a fun way to practice your aim. What kind of game is that? When the alien appears, click on it to shoot. Aim carefully, though, because if you miss, the game is over. It sounds interesting. Tell me more details. When the game starts, an alien appears on the screen for you to shoot. If you hit it, a good shot message pops up, and the alien appears at another point on the screen. But if you miss, the game is over. How's it work? The game is constantly checking whether you've clicked the mouse button. Every time you click on the alien, it needs to be drawn again, somewhere else on the screen. If you click and miss, the game will end. That sounds really fun. I want to try building the shooting game. Drawing Alien on Screen Let's get ready to build the game. I launch Mew Editor and save the file as a new file with a name. I'm ready. Now we can start writing some code. Let's draw the alien on the screen as we learned before. The screen size is set automatically, even if we don't set it. All right. This line creates a new actor called alien. We can use draw function. This line clears the screen. And this line draws the alien on the screen. Remember, we need four blank spaces here as indents to separate different blocks of code. Now it's time to test the code. All right. Save the file and play it. An alien in the top left corner of the screen appears. Placing Alien We can change the code to place the alien exactly where we want it on the screen. How do we write the code? Write the code, which will place the alien at the coordinates 300, 200. The alien will be placed 300 pixels along the x-axis, horizontal. The alien will be placed 200 pixels down the y-axis, vertical. Is that all? After we've written the code to place the alien on the screen, we need to tell Python to run it. Add this extra line of code to run the function called placeAlien. This function places the alien at coordinates 300, 200. Let's test it again. We must save our program before playing it, or we'll run an old version of our code. Save the file and play it. The alien is placed at coordinates 300 and 200. What do the two numbers mean? The first number is the x-coordinate, which shows how far to the right an object is. The second number is the y-coordinate, which shows how far down the object is. In math, the coordinate 0, 0 is usually at the bottom left, but in computer graphics, it's almost always the top left. Dealing with click. Now it's time to write the code that will run when the player presses the mouse. We'll display the message, good shot, each time the player clicks the mouse. How do we deal with clicks? Pygame Zero has a built-in function called onMouseDown, which is run every time the player clicks the mouse. Type this code in between the code we added. POS is the position of the cursor when the player clicks the mouse. At this point, the good shot message is displayed every time, everywhere the player clicks the mouse. But we only want it to show if the player actually hits the alien. We can do this by amending the code to include an if statement. This function checks if the cursor is in the same position as the alien. Make sure the bottom two lines now start with eight spaces. At this point, the good shot message will only be displayed if the player actually hits the alien. 
add some more logic to our code so that if the player misses a shot and don't click on the alien, the you've missed message is displayed and it quits the game. This command quits the game by stopping the program completely. At this point, if the player cannot hit the alien, the you miss message will be displayed and the game will end. Using random. The game is very easy at this point because the alien is always drawn in the same place on the screen. We can use Python's random module to make the game more challenging by placing the alien at a random point on the screen each time it's drawn. First, add this code at the very top of our program. What is this code doing? This imports the function randint from Python's random module. Is that all? No, not really. Change the code we typed like this. What is this code doing? The code will now use the randint function to pick a random number between 10 and 800 for the x coordinate and a random number between 10 and 600 for the y coordinate. It's time to shoot the alien. All right, save the file and play it. When the game starts, the alien appears at a random point on the screen. If I hit it, a good shot message pops up and the alien appears at another point on the screen. But if I miss, the you miss message pops up and the game is over. Well done! I really had a good time. It's time for a quiz. Oh my gosh, finally! Question 1. Which is function to place the alien on the screen? A. Alien.draw B. Place alien C. Print, quote, alien The answer is B. We can use the function to place the alien on the screen. Exactly! Question 2. Which function is run every time the player clicks the mouse? A. On mouse down B. Collide point C. Print, quote, good shot the answer is A. The function is run every time the player clicks the mouse. Exactly! Question 3. Which is function to pick a random number for each coordinate? A. Print, quote, you missed. B. Quit. C. Rand int. The answer is C. The function picks a random number for each coordinate. Perfect! Now I'm able to build a simple shooting game.